wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face once free. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafguka. In order to breed, they must pass on their light to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has a purpose. That we can live on through our children. Well, given another chance, I know what choice I would make. Good. Almost there. Aye, back to the surface then. Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. fate of these creatures. It reminds me of a story. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... Kratos, is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now don't sell yourself short, brother. 
You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, at least it's a relatable story. It appears we've overstayed our welcome in Alfheim. solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here.
No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit balance? <laughs>